Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Anusha. I'm currently doing my co-training in the specialty psychiatry here in London. Today's video is about COVID booster dose. So I'm due to take my booster dose for COVID vaccine in little more than an hour's time. So I thought, let me record my journey because I've done that with my previous two doses as well. If you haven't watched one of the most watched videos on this YouTube channel, then I'm gonna put up a link up above here and leave it down below in the description box as well. I filmed both the doses of taking COVID vaccine and I did a follow-up on how I felt two to three days later after taking the vaccine. So if you haven't watched that again, please do watch it. So this is booster dose. Also, if you're an anti-vaxxer and want to leave down some conspiracy theories along with your hate comments, then feel free to do that. I do find it entertaining to read sometimes. And for the rest of you all who believe in vaccine like I do and in science like I do, then this is the video for you to watch if you want all the information about the booster dose. A little background on my COVID vaccination journey. So I took my first dose back in January. It was somewhere in mid-January this year, almost 10 months back. And the second dose I took was in end of March and back then what I was offered was AstraZeneca and that's what I took. In the UK then there were three vaccines being offered AstraZeneca, Pfizer and Moderna. So today what I'm going to take is either Pfizer or Moderna that's what is being offered as a booster dose in the UK right now. So what the UK government is doing is that they're offering the booster doses in phases. So currently the phase one booster dose program is going on and the people who are being offered in this program are people who are 50 years and older, healthcare workers, frontline workers and so social workers and young people who are at risk. All right, so you may ask why are they offering a booster dose when this wasn't in the plan back when they started the vaccination program, which was early this year or the end of last year. So like any other vaccine, what happens is that over time, the protection of the vaccine can wane off. So due to that reason, the UK government is offering a booster dose for COVID vaccination six months after you've taken your second dose. So what the booster dose is going to do is that it's going to give you protection, especially as we're going into winter now, it's October already and winter is upon us and that's the one time when we've seen the COVID peak happen in the UK last year the second peak was way worse than the first one so what the COVID booster dose is going to do that it's going to reduce the risk of you needing to get admitted in the hospital due to a severe infection all right the timing of the booster like I mentioned the booster is being offered to people who are double vaccinated and fall in the phase one category and six months after they've taken their second dose right. so in my case like I said I took the AstraZeneca vaccine and so today I am most probably going to be offered the Pfizer vaccine Vaccine. I think that's what my trust is offering. So yeah, so I'm gonna go and take it and uh, we'll see you guys on the other side of this video. I'll try to film as much as possible. It's never easy filming when especially it's, you know, like my work trust hospital grounds. I feel a little conscious taking out my camera or taking out my phone. So I'm going to try sneakily film as much as I can. So we'll see how much footage I get. But yeah, so I'm quite excited. And I just wanted to say that I know there are so many people who haven't yet had both their doses or haven't been offered both their doses or even their first dose. I didn't want to come across like, you know, I'm trying to brag about something or sound entitled. I do feel very privileged and very grateful that I'm being honored a booster dose after having two doses of COVID vaccine. I'm not gonna take this one bit for granted. I don't want this video to come across as I'm showing off. I just want these videos to be as educative and informative for you guys as possible. Basically take you on a journey with me and be very transparent with my experiences at the same time, give you valuable information. So that's the whole reason why I'm filming this video. Yeah, so enough yapping. Let's go and get my COVID booster dose. Got company to take my COVID vaccine. Always. So it was a decision between 40 minutes public transport versus 40 minutes walk. Guess what we picked. Yeah, the weather's brilliant. So we're walking to the hospital. We'll keep you guys updated. your arm might be a bit red so swollen and you might develop a mild fever within the next 24 to 48 hours yeah. take either ibuprofen or paracetamol or whatever you normally take for family yeah. so i'm going to give it to you in your right arm oops 
sorry, let me just take this out of your way. That was quick. That's the quickest it's been. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yay. said left didn't you yeah oh well, that's right because i put that there okay is that rolling yes <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be in there if you don't want i won't okay. <laughs> so shoulder down nice and relaxed keep this muscle nice and floppy which it is which is lovely thank you Good. Perfect. Thank you so much. So this is 30 minutes after I've taken my COVID jab and probably 40-45 minutes after the influenza vaccine. Feeling nothing so far. We'll keep you guys posted. We're going to White City to pick up a few things. So I'll see you there. This is two hours after taking influenza and COVID booster dose. Come out to get some coffee. I might do some shopping. So, so far I only have pain in the arm where I took the influenza shot. But it's not really bad. It's like one out of ten. Like I can feel it being sore. There's no pain actually. It's soreness. I'm getting some ice latte. And yeah, probably one of the side effects of the vaccine could be shopping. <laughs> so just out to shop for a few things. And we'll keep you guys posted. Yay! So the right arm is the influenza arm and the left arm is the Pfizer arm. Let's see how we go. So this is four hours, nearly four hours since I took both the doses. Having dinner now, having veg, bread, Thai curry at a Mexican place, Wednesday night, Mexican night. I don't know, like Monday, it's called Mondays are Mexican nights. Oh, Tuesday, talk about Tuesdays. It's okay, let's pretend today is a Tuesday. So we're having some dinner, feeling fine. Smile soreness in the right arm when I took my influenza job. Other than that, I'm fine. So, yeah, that's the update. So, this is a six and a half hours update. Feeling fine. It's mild pain at injection site on both my arms now, but it only hurts when I lift beyond my shoulder level so i'm fine up till here and beyond this it hurts a little but that's expected so you're going to have pain at injection site anyway you've obviously had an injection so it's normal to have some pain at site other than that feel fine so far i'm due to go back to work tomorrow in the morning um so i've got a full day um nine to five so yeah i'll see how i'm feeling in the morning i think i should be fine so that's the update so far all right hey guys welcome back so this is nearly 10 days after taking both my covid booster and the flu jab i wanted to do a follow-up after that i didn't film much because there wasn't much to film after taking the covid booster dose and the flu jab but just a quick update i felt completely fine um, after taking both the doses um there was mild pain at injection site as you can see in the videos i was following up for a few hours after and then i went back home and i slept the next Next day I woke up and I went back to work and it was rather a busy day at work. After 24 hours of taking both the vaccines, I started experiencing some mild headache 
while at work and it was almost nearing towards the end of the day so i came back home and then i took a shower and by then i was feeling slightly feverish as well along with the headache and i did have pain at the injection site and it ended up being this time the Pfizer arm. After that I just took some paracetamol, I had dinner and I went off to sleep that night and that was that. That was one episode. I woke up next day feeling completely fine, went back to work again. There was a Friday and yeah and I have felt fine ever since. So this is 10 days after taking both my vaccines and I'm glad I actually batted both the vaccines together and I can't pinpoint which was causing the fever and headache because I took both COVID booster dose and flu jab and both of them have these side effects so really don't know but it was nothing major or nothing serious nothing groundbreaking there these are the side effects that I expected from taking a vaccine especially when it's COVID booster dose or flu jab you might experience fever you might experience some headache some body ache and pain at injection site yeah so that's that nothing much more to add to that and as you can see life is returning to near normal this only tells that vaccines work so please don't come at me like you did in my previous two vaccine videos all right um that was 10 months 10 to 11 months back so i'll give you benefit of the doubt hopefully since then you have grown from it you've read the right information and you watched the world recover and understand that um vaccines do work to all the anti-vaxxers out there who commented on my previous two videos that i would be dead in six months and that i'm a guinea pig and all sorts of things sorry to disappoint point you but please don't believe all the misinformation that's over there and please make the right decision for yourself and your loved ones it's 2021 so please educate yourself so all right so anyway without sounding any more preachy please do the right thing and i hope this video was useful i had promised that i would do a follow-up of how i felt after taking both the vaccine doses and this is that bit i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did then do give it a big thumbs up if you have any further questions you want to ask drop it down in the comment section below and i hope you're keeping safe and looking after yourself and your loved ones and i'll see you in the next video bye